For a while in my adult life, I was involved in a really cool young company. It was Healy Disc Manufacturing. We did CDs and DVDs and graphic design, printing for bands, studios, record labels, whatever, across North America. It was staffed by young musicians. We were all friends. It was a great time. And I'll tell you what, it gave me more than a few stories to tell. So I'm calling this one The Hospital Breakout. Healy Disc became a really solid company quickly. It was at the very beginning of the CD manufacturing boom for everybody. Like any other business, we supported a lot of industry initiatives and organizations, events, and one such event was called the CMW, Canadian Music Week. It's where the music industry in Canada gathers to attend seminars, share meals, renew old acquaintances, and see a lot of great bands. Like any other industry, if you're a sponsor of these events, you're given certain perks, free tickets, exclusive admissions, and sometimes open bars. Well, I'll start off by saying, I don't drink a whole lot. I spent a lot of years when I was a young man bartending, and it kind of soured me on the whole thing. The smell, the way people acted, I'm just, I'm just not a booze guy. But even I can go overboard once in a while. Well, this year at the CMW, one of our perks was to be offered free draft beer at any participating bar. Well, I don't have to tell you how bad of an idea that might be. So we were able to walk the streets, go see any band we want, have half a beer, leave, who cares? We're not spending a cent, it's wonderful. There was a contingent of about 10 of us from Healy Disc, ranging from the shipping guy to receptionist to sales guys and management. It was supposed to be a really great retreat, get some ideas going, and apparently I needed to give everyone something to remember. This particular night saw the most bands playing at the most bars, and we took full advantage. Eventually, we all got separated by booze, by distance, and by musical taste. And we were individually now staggering around Toronto's downtown core, entertaining ourselves. Well, I had too much too soon, and by midnight, I had to go back to the hotel and basically pass out. My roommate was already in the room, sleeping. I arrive, and within five minutes, I realize, Yeah, this is coming back out. So I get up, and I run to the bathroom. Uh -oh. I open my eyes take in a weird scene. Our hotel room was crowded with emergency personnel like paramedics, firefighters, policemen. There's probably an undertaker in there somewhere. Apparently I had rounded the corner to the bathroom, slipped, cranked my head off the marble counter, and the lights went out all over the world. It was enough of a racket to wake up my roommate, who figured the best thing to do would be call the first responders. So, at this point, I'm hooked up to the machines, I'm in a room full of emergency personnel and my roommate sitting on the other bed, and I'm being transferred now to a stretcher. I try to convince him to let me go, I'm, I'm feeling great now at this point, but as the one responder tells me, Dude, when we start this process, we have to see it through. What are you gonna do? Now, as luck would have it, as I'm being wheeled down the hotel corridor, all of my friends are arriving back from their wonderful night out in the town. And they see me coming out, hooked up to machines, being escorted by about five or six emergency personnel. I try to act cool, but <laughs> like nothing's going wrong. It's all good, guys. We're going out to Subway. I get to the hospital. They test out all my vitals, which check out okay but they tell me you know what you're gonna spend the night here with us buddy so lights out in the morning i open my eyes and i have no fucking idea where i am what's going on what the hell how am i here i do hear grunting and groaning and complaining and arguing coming from around me which after the fact i found out this was where I guess all the alcoholics and homeless people are shuffled to at night when they need attendance. Where I am. So, 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 I slowly start peeling off all the hospital gear. 
connections, the beat machines, the whatever. I get up, I get out of my little onesie, I get my clothes on, and I tiptoe out of the hospital. <laughs> I was breaking out of the hospital. El Chapo's got nothing on me. I would have dug a hole in my room floor just to get out. Well, I hustled back to the hotel and I managed to meet up with my friends at breakfast. Mmm, breakfast. I'm hungry. Well, as a little epilogue to this story, one of my friends managed to contact the hospital and actually get the little tickers that show you what's going on and they put this along with a number of other notes from the evening between each other drunk friends about what was going on with me and they presented it to me at a wonderful company event and it's something that my wife has cherished for years and I managed to pull out of the garbage and uh, here take a look well if you like these stories why don't you become a subscriber I've got many more to go don't drink too much.